Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Hungerford series, a journey to the top and we are getting there slowly. We've yet to win in a live com on camera yet. Uh, as you'll recall last game we lost 3-0 to Barnet. Long time ago yesterday so you know. <laughs> no, long time ago last week. Um... But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get into the episode today. Uh, we're gonna go through a little bit of tactics again, uh, just because you know that's an area which we are struggling on. And yeah, let's get into the episode. Okay, guys. So here we are. We are in the tactics. Um, just gonna briefly go through. Uh, so the tactic we're using at the moment. Uh, so it's a four-four-one-one. Uh, we've we've gone through a lot of tactics, to be honest with you. Uh, we've got a tactic from Guido Meri, uh, which will be very good for us to test once we've got the players. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of testing for him. Obviously, as you can see, it's not the type of formation that we're going to be using with Hungerford Town um, this season, at least. Uh, the other formation we've got is the 4-2-1-3. Four, four, That's not not entirely correct. 4-1-2-3. Uh, um, but yeah, we are we are using the the 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. Uh, in possession, we are playing with a higher tempo and slightly wider. In transition, we are looking to take short goal kicks and regroup regroup when possession has been lost and counter when possession has been won out of possession we are having a lower defensive line um, when we get to the last knockings of the game last 10 15 minutes we're going to be dropping that down and dropping that down but for now uh, it's going to be a higher line of engagement and a lower line of defensive engagement uh, pressing is going to be just slightly more urgent Nothing too strenuous with a balanced mentality. Um, as you can see, the roles are, are quite, how to put this, quite simple. Quite simple. Uh, we've got central defender, we've got fullback on defence, we've got a wide midfielder and an inverted winger. Uh, we've also got a central midfielder on defend. That's because the ball in the midfielder was just going everywhere. He was literally jumping all over the place he was um it's like kante on crack basically uh we've got the deep line playmaker support instead of the advanced playmaker we have got the advanced playmaker support support in there and uh, we're playing aldridge at the moment mainly because he's moaning about first team football um and the same for kendall he is up front as a pressing forward attack mainly because he is moaning about first team football as you can see our training this week has been absolutely diabolical diabolical um yeah that's that's sort of wanted what i wanted to go through on the tactics so let's see how it's affected us in the offline games that we've played so last game uh we played was our oh, 3-1 barnet i said in the beginning it was 3-0 it was 3-1 uh my apologies for that one um do have sight in my eye which really annoyed me um then we played the the match we were supposed to play in the live com against dolwich hamlet we we got mugged off here we absolutely got mugged off uh who is he scn let Tud guy through. Basically just played him a through ball and said, ER son, have a free goal. The next one, Ek Pateta, playing it back to the keeper, doesn't even go to the keeper, goes to Tud guy after Hazel Moore has banged in a brilliant header from a set piece. Uh, but we lose that 2-1. We then play at home to Hampton and Richmond. 2-1 win. Joe Evans playing as the inside forward on the right. Uh, which is why we've gone for him as the inverted winger on the right. Um, so from Woking is when we started our new formation, basically. Uh, away, free all, 
cracking game. Absolutely belter. We went 1-0 up. They went 1-1. Then they went 2-1 up. We equalised 2-2. They went ahead 3-2. Then 3-3 before 30 minutes had even gone. And then it was pretty crap second half, to be honest with you. Uh, very, very disappointed with this game. Western Supermare. Uh, a game we should be winning. They are, they are not a good team. Not a good team. Uh, and we were so much better than this. I went attacking mentality from the start. And it absolutely screwed us. Uh, we couldn't keep possession of the ball. We just kept hoofing it up there. Even though I had short passing on. <clears throat> and yeah, Jamie Lucas just got... He got super lucky with being in the right place at the right time. And we lost 2-1. Uh, we then made up for it with a fantastic win away from home at East Furrock. Uh, they did get a man sent off just after half time, but Harvey Moss with two, David Rainford with a penalty, and that is where we are currently at in the league. Um, playing at Eastbourne, uh, they are currently third in the league, but we're going to have a look at the league table. So here we are, 16 games played. 17th, uh, we are four points above relegation, which is very good for us. Um, yeah, a win will take us sort of 14th, um, which is pretty decent. You, you'd expect the teams that are at the top to stay there. Dulwich, Dartford, Billericay, probably Eastbourne, Torquay United. You'd expect them to stay up there. Um, teams that are fighting around the bottom are all expected to be there. Chippenham, Western Supermare, Bath City, Chelmsford. Woking, a little bit of a surprise at their mid-table, if I'm honest. Uh, Hampton and Richmond doing really well. And Gloucester doing really well. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into the match. Let's just have a, qu a, qu a quick one. So we're just going to have a look at this team. Training ratings have absolutely done me in. Uh, can't really believe it. To be honest with you, I'm, oh, I'm just so annoyed. Uh, Cregan, I mean, look at that. Kendall, 4.9, son. And you want to start the game? Absolute joke. Um, that's... <laughs> We got Foxley on the bench. That's about it. Yeah, we'll just, we'll go with that. We'll go with it. So yeah, away to Eastbourne. They have gone. Who's that? Is that Dean. Dean Cox playing centre midfield. Is that Rob Hall? Of Ryan Hall. Mm, that could be the one that I'm thinking of. Can't remember. They've got some decent players though. Give them that. Give them that. Uh, but it's 4 4 2 against a 4 4 1 1. Um, we line up as Morrish in goal. Strong, Price, Azelmore, Cox, Moss, Palmiro, Rainford, Evans, Eldridge, Kendall. That's how we line up. Um, we are going to say good luck to the lads. No one responded. Bit of positive feedback in there. First thing you'll notice, we have reverted to 2D. Yes, indeed. We have um, just I found that the players were making less mistakes in 2D. That's literally the only reason. There we go. They're, they're attacking, obviously, first minute in. Not looking too good for us. With them on the ball. Uh, comes forward, Hall. Doesn't quite get it. Makaka, Cox. Just playing it around nicely into Hall. Oh, hello. He's hit the post from miles out. Jesus. 
Come on, Hungerford. Oh, here we go. Rainford, free kick, whips it. It's a good save. Good save. Safe hands. Uh, Cox with a corner. Pollard has got more space than Jupiter there. Uh, but I think he's I think he's giving away a foul. Here we go, another corner. Cox whips it. Aldridge gets it out. Into Makaka. Free near the edge of the box. Cox. West. Oh, good tackling. Millbank. Hall. Oh, it's just gone over. Just gone over. Going to have to go cautious, I reckon. They are absolutely dominating us. Uh, feedback focused after the feedback, which is good. That's what we want. I don't really know what to expect, actually, because Kendall has not been playing well recently. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. Evans. Evans has been playing some lovely through balls in recent games. Oh, Palmiro. Rainford, you've picked it up. Good son. Good. Aldridge. Palmiro. Oh, it's gone long. Moss. Can't really get there. Oh, they've, they've done well. They've done well there, to be fair. I thought that could have been could have been a bit of a glitch. A bit of an FM. But not to be for us. Now, West is coming down the west side. Hall. 1-0. I mean, I just keep picking the games that are so tough. And yeah, West whipping a ball in. Hall on the volley, first time. Cross goal. And it's in the back of the net. Can you uh, change? Deep line forward attack. Uh, let's give that a go. So half an hour gone. We are 1-0 down. We do have 100% shot accuracy, which is good. Crosses completed is 0 out of 10, which kind of uh, dispels our, our form for the season, if you like. Um, we've got more possession, though, which is a strange one. Is a strange one. Um, let's go back to standard shorter passing. Just, yeah. Don't don't ask me what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. Oh, oh that could have been dodgy. There we go. Whack it's number two. Whack it's number two. Oh, unbelievable. Kendall wins it, though. Palmiro, Rainford, Aldridge. Nice little triangles in the middle. Nice little triangles. Uh, Cox tries to whip it across field. Doesn't really get anywhere, but Moss has got it now. Palmiro. Oh, I can't beat his man. Moss. Oh, have a word. What a goal that is. Harvey Moss, you beauty. Cuts inside. Right foot. That is an absolute gem. Absolute gem. Uh, we will change the tactics after that one. That is a quality goal. Uh, we've got Eastbourne throw. Uh, he's into Cox. He's whipped it. Whew. Bit cheeky. Little bit cheeky. Oh, my caca. Thought he was going to bang it in. With the draw, we do move up to 16th place which is good to know uh, we've reached half time probably will be some changes um, why have we got a league table on the side should be that possession we're absolutely dominating possession uh, no clear, clear cut chances no half chances couple of offsides literally no crosses completed whatsoever uh, which is a bit worrying um, unlucky they've they've accepted it they've accepted it so we'll go with it a uh, Cregan's gonna come on Kendall can jog on Joe Evans not doing well Price and Strong not playing well either. 
Uh, let's give lads some encouragement. We're going to keep it on cautious. Um, just because Eastbourne... Well, I say they were dominating. Maybe they're not. Uh, they seem to be dominating in terms of chances, anyway. Um, and definitely in terms of shots. I mean, 12 to 3. But it's Eastbourne again. They're you know keeping possession in our half. And we're doing our best to keep them at bay. Uh, Pollard whips it in. Price, good head out. Aldridge, Palmiro. What's he get? Is someone's going to whip it soon? I can feel a whip coming on. Or someone's going to whip it, or we're going to lose the ball. Rainford, oh, he's whipped it. Evans, get the ball in, son. Cregan, get in. Come on. 2-1. Unbelievable scenes at Eastbourne, down on the coast. Super sub has come on and done the biz. Uh, Hall oh, has got more deflections than a politician during Brexit. Uh, and there's no, no more of that highlight. Thank God, because that joke killed it. Here we go. Campbell. Cox. Cox. Cox and Cox. Palmeiro. Aldridge. What can he do? Moss might be making a run. He was, but no one found him. Hall. Strong. Strong touch from you, son. Palmeiro. Moss. Aldridge, Palmiro. Oh, he's whipped it. Cregan, he's through. Bang it. Oh. Hit a side netting, isn't he? Is he hit the bloody side netting. Moss, Aldridge, Rainford, Palmiro, Rainford, Aldridge, Evans. We are, we've come into this game very nicely. Very, very nicely. Moss. Oh. Oh, what a strike. Unbelievable techers. Bosh. 62 minutes in. Third place Eastbourne. One. 15th place now. Hungerford. Three. Uh, we do have to make a change because uh, Aldridge is getting more and more. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? More and more tired. Let's, let's go with that. Um, Strong. This is a bit tired. Rainford. Uh, Palmiro. All getting tired. Uh, Elliot Cox is also another one that is maybe getting a little bit tired, a little bit fatigued. Uh, but Eastbourne have the ball. They've played it long. Walker, that was a great save, a double save. Morrish. Oh. Great stuff. Encourage. But everyone's disinterested. Oh, frustrate. Oh. Right, do you know what, lads? Do you know what? Literally, I'm only going to shout when you're doing something crap oh my word ryan hall nearly and again look at these ratings on the side this is like unprecedented territory we've never seen an 8.8 .8 before jesus we're we are doing the biz uh we're gonna make a solid change here price is gonna come off with the 6.6 .6 and Cole Pepper on, on yeah, Cole Pepper on strong. Uh, oh, wonder what he's going to do then. Oh, it's got to be a penalty. It's got to be a penalty. It is a penalty. Rainford. Rainford. Goal. Four one. Unbelievable scenes at the Eastbourne Arena. 
no idea what Eastbourne's uh, Eastbourne's stadium's called. But we have absolutely, hang on, oh, they've hit the post. We've absolutely put them to the slaughter, like hog, hogs of war. Do you remember that game? Oh, what a game! Oh, I didn't know Chelmsford had Reese Murphy. He's just bagged one. Rainford. Oh, it's a great tackle. Gardner. He's going to need to pull up the weeds. West. West to east. East to south. Moss. I oh, just whipped it. Oh, Evans. Stop running. He did stop running. Azelmore. What a header, son. Evans. Rainford. Could this be? Oh, Evans whips it in. Cregan. Oh, Evans is offside. That could be our highest scoring game. Gotten Hewis gets it out. Hall. Oh, what a, what a block. Looks like that's going to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first victory in a live calm. Dead. Four one. Don't don't even ask me what I was doing there. Just felt like I needed to do. Felt like I needed to do it. Oh, we absolutely amazing game. Still absolutely buzzed with that. Uh, very pleased, of course. You know what, Harvey Moss. What a player. Left footed, he scored two belters with his right foot. This is where I find out he's right footed. But he's left footed. He scored two belters. Absolute belters. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. Cookie FM goes bargain hunting. Of course I do. Uh, well, yeah. 18 players. Arriving since June. <laughs> oh, let's let's have a look at the tabes. So we've moved up one place uh, to 16th. I think we were 17th before. Uh, 20 points, you know, a win and results going with us. I, mean, I can't see that happening in the next game because we're against Bill uh, But that'll move us up to mid-table. Pushing our way up slowly but surely. So, next episode. Here we go. Billericke at home. Welling United away. Chippenham at home. Dartford away. Oxford City at home, Truro City at home, and the 1st of January, we are going to come back for Oxford City away. What is going to happen? We, we've now recorded an unprecedented, oh actually, we did that before, Chelmsford and Hemel. Two wins in a row. East Forrick and Eastbourne. Probably going to all come crashing down to earth. Against Bill Ricky. But it's been a good game. It has been a cracking game. We are doing very well. Very well after this game. And after last game. Let's push on. And make it count. Thank you for watching today's episode guys. I do really appreciate it. The amount of views, likes, comments has just been unbelievable. I think I'm saying that word a bit too much today, actually. Um, but it has. It's been absolutely, you know, brilliant. Um, I'm loving that all of you guys are really enjoying the series. Um, I'm loving that Hungerford Town are supporting the series and effectively affiliated with us because we are their eSports manager after all. Uh, we've got our first win in a live com under our belts hopefully we can push on in the next live com against oxford city um so that's going to be a good one 
remember to like, subscribe. You guys have been smashing the subscribes recently. Um, well over 100. So thank you so much again. And don't forget to check out my other social media for Football Manager content. Um, unfortunately, we are out of the FM Cup. But still, follow that along. Uh, go and check out my website, uh, thecookiefmblog.wordpress.com uh, for a recent write-up and update on that. And, yeah, that's about it for today. Uh, we'll be back next week with some more Hungerford Town and a journey to the top. See you then.